Look at this mess. So my primary goal was to come out here today and uh, set up some mud snake boards and then uh, set up some other stacks of tin nearby. Um, we've got a place here where, uh, well one, mud snakes should definitely be here. If we get a good look at this place, um, it just looks really nice and mud snakey. Uh, there's good access along this uh, little pipeline right away. And um, one thing I really like is all of this kind of pile up here this looks like a really great place for mud snakes to lay eggs um so anyhow it's really good access here so i brought three nice um sheets of one inch plywood uh the reason i'm using one inch plywood is just because it's thicker it's not going to fall apart so quickly as it sits here in the water because it's going to get soaked in the water and it's eventually it's going to start to come apart um, but hopefully this can last a few years before that starts to happen um, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive in some stakes so that uh, as water level changes, then uh, my boards don't float away if we get a flood or anything like that. Um, and then I'm going to lash those boards to those stakes, just, you know, kind of make sure that they stay in place. Um, I don't think I need to clear out any ground or anything. So really all I have to do is just kind of drive in those stakes, set the boards. Um, I might clear out a little bit of this brush, but... Um, you know, this looks like it's going to be a really good place for mud snakes. And um, just up the road, I've got some sets where I've got some king snakes, I've got some milk snakes and coach whips. Uh, so I'd really like to have a nice place like this where I can just come out and get uh, a variety of different things all in one spot. So that's my main goal today. Uh, hopefully I can turn up a few other things herping a little bit later. Um, I'm going to try to check some milk spots after that. But anyhow, so I'm going to get to work on this, kind of show you guys what I do. Um, so if you guys are inspired to, you know, set up your own milk snake spots, uh, sorry, your own mud snake spots, then uh, you, you know what to do. All right, so this is actually from a uh, old shoe rack that, uh, that I had. We don't use it anymore. And... gonna drive that down so that way everything stays nice and sturdy and of course these dudes are already painted and I've got a nice little handle on here so it's easier to flip All right, so I'm using a little bit of galvanized wire, and uh, the reason I'm using galvanized wire is because I don't want it to rust away super quick, and uh, hopefully this will last a good while. I want to give a good, little bit of length to it because uh, I don't want it to impede my flipping, although really I can flip from that end and not have any issues. Just sometimes when these things are covered in water, it's tough to flip them. Beautiful place out here. So I actually brought out four boards today and um, I was gonna set all of them here, but and it's tempting to. However, I've actually got a spot up the road where I've gotten some Graham's crayfish snakes and uh, that looks also like a really great place to uh, get some mud snakes. And I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing with that other board. Um, just a little roadside stop. I like to give myself some options. 
just in case this doesn't produce as well as I had hoped. I'll loop that back through there. I mean, this is nothing elegant. I'm not, you know, I don't really care. Uh, just a whole lot about how I lash this on here. His ma main thing is to make sure that it doesn't float away. Okay, that ought to be good. Uh, fortunately, these boards already had some holes in them. They can take advantage of this purpose. And another side looks good too. All right, so I'm gonna actually have to drill a uh, separate hole for this and get the drill out in a little bit. You know, and also by uh, setting this stuff up where it's wired like this, uh, if anybody comes across it, um, they certainly aren't gonna know what the hell it is. However, you see something so engineered, well, I say engineered, but you know, something that somebody's well thought out to uh, set up like this, um, I think people are less likely to mess with it. Okay. Real muddy here. You can tell that the water comes up a little bit higher. Um, not too worried about that right now. You know, there's really not a whole lot you can do if uh, that happens to your boards. You know, just uh, you just gotta hit it at the right time and hopefully you can set stuff in a place where uh, water level isn't a huge issue. Ah, of course. It's holding it up. All right, partially in the water there. All right, I'm gonna go get my drill. Um, another thing I like to look for for mud snake spots is actually this, this grass right here. So this usually grows, um, I really don't know what it is, but what it seems like is this, this kind of stuff grows uh, in places where um, it holds a lot of water, uh, but water doesn't move very fast. Um, and generally, I've found a lot of mud snakes coming out of ditches and stuff that has that specific grass. If somebody wants to tell me what this is, uh, I'd be happy to know. And actually, I could probably ask a friend about this. I'll just go ahead and take a picture real quick. Joey would probably know exactly what this is. Let me get some light on it. And uh, if I do find out what it is, then... Um, Try to share that information with you guys. I think that inflorescence would be hopeful. This settles in a bit. Trying to push that down into the mud. Um, it's going to look too bad. This is harder than I thought it was going to be. All right. Shit. Okay. Let's 
Yeah, no one said I was graceful. All right. Ooh. That ought to hold. Cool. Okay, so um, set out three nice boards over here. Um, got them lashed down with uh, a little bit of galvanized wire. And uh, again, the point with that is to make sure that, you know, if this floods, our water level changes, that these boards don't float away. They'll stay here in just the in general same vicinity. You know, it's probably gonna move it a little bit, um, but that's okay because when you put boards on the edge of water like this, they season really, really quickly. Um, it'll kill those plants pretty fast and actually uh, settle down into the mud really quick. So um, it's not gonna take too long for them to season. Um, however, I think it may be a little bit too late for this year uh, if I'm gonna find a mud snake under them. Uh, it's March right now. Uh, and honestly, today would be just absolutely perfect day to come out and flip mud snakes um, if I'd had these boards set up already, but I just didn't have them done. Um, it's been something I've had these things sitting here in my garage for a year. Uh, and I just hadn't come out to go set out some mud snake boards, but uh, finally got the motivation to go do that today. And uh, now I've got them and I'm hoping, you know, maybe in April I can come out here and check them. Uh, but if not this year, then definitely next year. Um, expect to see something coming out from under these boards. Uh, probably crayfish snakes under here, general water snakes. Um, but uh, hopefully, if I'm lucky, some mud snakes. Um, So right now, after I've set up those boards, I'm actually gonna go and um, set up some stuff over here. Uh, this looks like a really nice area. They've kind of expanded the right of way. Um, so I'm glad I've come out here after they've done that. And um, I'll probably go set some stuff out in there because this has a lot of nice uh, wintertime sun exposure. This reminds me of Southern Louisiana, some of the places we go flip milks. So I'm gonna go set up a stack actually in there that stump over there. I think that's gonna be a good spot to go set something. So I'm gonna put up a little stack in there. Um, I do find cane breaks in this area, so if we're lucky, maybe a nice cane will show up. Okay, so I'd spotted this stump from, uh, from just inside, from over there. But um, I mean, I like this. It's got a lot of holes and stuff going into it. A little harder soil. Um, let me check out this stump over here. Um, so generally, if I'm going to set stuff, uh, you know, inside the tree line, I want to find a nice spot where it looks like uh, snakes are probably going to overwinter. Uh, something that they're going to be using regularly throughout the year uh, for a uh, regular hide and I think I think over here is gonna be a little bit better of a spot. I've got some nice grass the Open spot. It's open over there, too um, Let me kind of think about this for a second This is an old turnip and What I'm thinking with this I guess I could set up a set by this. I think that'll be fine. Gonna do, I'm gonna try to take advantage of this as a uh, general wintering home for snakes. There's a lot of uh, access under underground. Um, you can see where the the tree used to be. It looks like it's finally uh, kind of rotted away. 
um, after it fell. You can see kind of little spots where, um, where some leaves are uh, still in the grass where it used to be there. Um, I think this is a pretty old fall, so that means that there's probably stuff that uses this. And I think I want to take advantage of this sunny spot right here next to it so that uh, when snakes need to come out, instead of basking, they can just come over here to this tent stack and take advantage of that. Uh, so I found milk snakes and king snakes over here, and of course that's what I'm hope hoping to target with this. So I'm going to set up a layered set. I've got five sheets of tin here, and uh, I'm going to try to add some leaves and stuff between layers just to kind of give them uh, a little bit more humidity option, although we're so close to um, close to a river and East Texas stays so humid most of the year that I don't think humidity is going to be a real problem. Now something a lot of people ask me is, uh, you know, do I clear out the ground for laying sets? And honestly, it depends on where I am. Uh, here, out in the woods, like this, no, I'm not going to. This uh, grass is really thin. It um, is gonna die off pretty easily. I want a small gap in there. I don't want a huge gap, because uh, I do want to attract milk snakes, and I think a larger gap between sheets is less attractive to them. So what I try to do is I try to offset it just a little bit to get a gap. And um, let's use these weeds over here. Now, this little depression on this side of the turnip is a good thing to have because that'll allow for um, a little bit of moisture to collect right here. And of course, we've got the swamp over there, so you know, moisture is generally probably not going to be a big issue in this spot. Now, one problem I do have is some of these sheets want to curl, and I don't like that at all. But I think if I can bring a big log over, I can set that on top. And uh, over time, it'll end up settling and uh, changing how much they bend. But in general, my strategy, especially if I'm trying to attract milk snakes, is I want to set up something that doesn't let a lot of light inside the middle of it. I want some options so the snake can get in there and feel like it's mostly underground. I want it to feel very comfortable real sheltered. So I'm going to try to grab a couple of big logs and I'm going to sit on top of this uh, just to tighten up that layer. Now let's see, I saw some big stuff over here and it's got to be heavy. Unfortunately heavy means more work for me but I don't really mind that. Now this a little rotten but I think it's got just enough weight to make it work. And shoot, there might be a milk snake inside this right now. It's a great thing for them to live in. Okay. Should help tighten things up, help it settle. I really like how that's coming up on the edge there. So tin really doesn't want to behave. All right, surely there's another big log I can add on top of that. Cool. Got that to break. And now I can set a handful of these things on here. Not perfect, but that'll help it settle in. I don't really like that tin, but uh, that's what I got. Gotta use it. 
Okay, so we got some mud snake boards, milk snake tin. Time to move on to the next spot and uh, add a little bit more to that to see what I've got going on over there. Check in with you guys in just a minute. All right, so this set's gonna go right here on the edge of this pipeline right away. Um, I've got another one just over there that I've had for a while. It's given me really, really nice king snake a couple years ago. Um, I don't really like how exposed this is because people do come out here and hunt. Um, but usually this gets really overgrown and this doesn't get mown too much. Um, and by the time anybody actually comes out here, um, it's unlikely they're ever gonna see that. I know it sticks out like a sore thumb right now, but uh, I think it'll be just fine. All right, so let's go check this set that I've already got over here. See if anybody's in here today. Brambly mess. Snake. Ouch. Mm, this thing's dig in. Okay. And another rat and a racer. Okay, well this is a pretty good little set. I want that racer though. Okay. Shit dude. These fucking brambles suck. God, those hurt. Okay. Wow. All right, these are some of the worst brambles I've ever, ever encountered. Okay, now what about that racer I just saw? Oh, it's a coach. Okay. A little coach would go. What about that rat snake that's under here? Another just regular old rat. Okay. So many ants. I don't really want to mess with it too much right now. Let's go check my other, other boards. So, obviously as you can see, this, ah, Jesus. Hard to get into, but uh, good spot for stuff out here. So, I'm gonna end up adding, I think I got another five sheets. I'm gonna add those out here somewhere. So it's gonna be a little bit easier to get into. Cause that is a pain in the butt. Maybe, on that high ridge right there. So we'll see where we end up going with this. Um, I don't want to check some of my other stuff I've got out here. I've got a couple of boards that give me some milk snakes. See how those do. And the milk. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm setting stuff here. Heck yeah. Good job. This is the second milk I've gotten out of this board. It's uh looks like young of last year. Wow. What a treat. That was kind of surprising. I mean not really considering uh how good this spot is, but I'm really surprised to see it. Very very cool. Well, kind of zoom in on that guy a little bit. Can't tell if it's focusing or not. Yeah, cool little guy. Um, I don't think I want to hold on to this for photos. He's in shed. He's so tiny. Pinky little thing. Let me just let him go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just let him go back under his board real quick. All right, let's put this guy back and uh, see what else is gonna show up today. 
Huh, that's a good spot. I love this place. And uh, man, I started setting out boards here probably five years ago. Four or five years ago, I don't know. I don't know, it's been a while. What I'd really like today is a nice looking king. They're just stunning out here. Really bright yellows. Nothing. Okay, so I just got that milk snake just over there and I um, want to add more cover out here and I think this sunny little ridge is going to be a good spot to do that. I got five sheets and I think they're all going to end up going into the same stack. Let's see, I think I got five. Um, so this one's the most bent, so it's going on the bottom. So hopefully the weight of the others can keep this dude in check. And uh, what I really want actually is for this to be a nice flat surface. Maybe I actually want to put it over here. This out of the way. Okay. I think this will be good. A little brambly, not too bad. And uh, I can clear away some of this, this cane. Some of this grass to throw in between sheets. Yeah, that would be enough. Get one more handful. That's a good day. that back. Cool. And I'm going to need a little bit more grass. Something heavy I can drop on top. Yeah, I don't think I really need it. Okay, here's another beautiful set. Just out right here, amazing. I think that'll work out just fine. Um, it's just in the wood line here, but it still gets a lot of sun. And uh, we got a little wetland there, so I think you get kings, you get milks, uh, get a lot of good stuff. So this worked out really well. Came out here to set up some tin in new spots. Uh, ended up clipping a couple of rat snakes, a coach whip under an old set that I would put out here a few years ago. And uh, then I uh, flipped another milk under this board that gave me a milk last year. And uh, I think the year before. So 
this is a really good spot I'm excited to see kind of how it develops but um, yeah just got to keep adding stuff to to the places that you got and hope for more snakes all right what we got today? little rat snake yeah we just leave you right there for a second try not to disturb you just let you should rest I'm just looking for a milk all right go back to it buddy go back to it Hmm? Who the fuck does this? Who the fuck does this shit? placed all this stuff on the other side of the fence, but maybe I did this instead, I don't know. I mean, it looks moderately weathered, but not really. I don't remember. Oh, hey, coach. Well, all right, maybe I did this. Really, I don't remember it, though. Yeah, neat. You're gonna look good when you grow up. I hope I get to see you. The nice bands. I always like a coach whip with, with bands on it. Alright. Well, back you go. You gonna go in your tin? Ah. Under your tin. Come on, bud. Ah, ah, ah. There you go. Hey, 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 I don't, I, I ain't gonna do nothing to you. I just want you to go back to sleep. You going in there for the night, I know. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. All right, see, now this is something I wouldn't do. But I see somebody's taking all my tin out from that side of the fence and just said, okay, well, let's set it over here. It had to be what happened because I didn't set any of this like this. And I'll add this over here. Another little layer of fun. And then let's check on this. I mean, it didn't look too bad. It's not where I put it. I mean, it was deliberately set there for a reason. <sighs> I had to just fucking take all of it. I think that's what I'm going to do. So this was a pretty fun, productive day. Ended up uh, getting quite a few, well, I mean, I, a lot of snakes, but uh, got a handful of snakes, uh, including a nice little milk snake uh, at a spot I'd set up a few years ago. Um, added a bunch of stuff to that spot and ended up setting up uh, some mud snake boards nearby. So I'm really excited to kind of see how that develops and hopefully uh, end up getting some more cool snakes there. Um, but also when I was checking out one of the, it's just kind of a dump spot, you know, it's nothing really, uh, it's nothing that I really put in any uh, investment into, uh, but it's a place that I go and I've seen some copperheads there and some coach whips. Um, and I always like to check it. Uh, but I was there and I, I saw that a couple of the boards had been flipped over and they're just left like that. Now I really don't understand 
why this is a problem. Um, because when I flip boards, I normally just lift them up a little bit, and I look under, and I set it back down. And it literally takes more effort to flip a board and take it and put it all the way over so it's flipped on its other side and I just like don't I don't really understand that I don't understand why people would do that um, one because if you do that you, you're not gonna find any snakes there the next time or at least like the way these were sitting now I guess if you flip it all the way over and you let it season for a couple of years and you get snakes under it then but like why why would you ever want to do that it just makes no sense um, so anyhow uh, you know since I, uh, I I know there are other people that herp around Houston and and that's cool and I really don't mind when people find my spots and they flip it um, because you know I, I don't own the property uh, so it really doesn't make any difference to me um, but what I do really mind is that people do that to a spot and they essentially ruin it and if it's something that I put in a lot of work to set up or whatever then that would really piss me off um, so I think what I'm going to start doing now is anytime I see something like that um, and, and part of this is, is it's not just those boards it's across the highway there's a bunch of tin that I'd set and somebody took it and they moved it uh, to the other side of the fence right and it had been sitting there seasoning uh, since like last March or April um, and I was really excited to go flip it and, and yeah I got a snake under it today but it wasn't uh, in the spot that I wanted it to be um, and sure yeah you somebody might think oh well I can put this over here you know maybe this is a little bit better spot or I don't have to go behind the fence I, I specifically put it in that spot because that's where I wanted it and that's where uh, I expect to, to find snakes so um, you know I, I guarantee that you, you probably don't know better than I do on where to put stuff if you think that you're gonna oh, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move it and it's gonna be in a better spot um, so if there, you know whoever did that may have had those thoughts that's fine um, you're wrong but uh, when I see stuff like that all it does is make me want to just move it to a new area uh, so that's what's gonna happen uh, basically when I see things like this I have literally all the tools I can cut up tin I can cut up boards and I can put them in this tiny little car and uh, I have no issue doing that even on spots that I really like um, if it's something that somebody else is gonna go to and they're gonna mess it up I have zero problems uh, going and taking that and setting it elsewhere you know I've got tons of places around here uh, in Houston I've been go been here for you know all my life so I really don't mind uh, taking stuff from one spot and setting it elsewhere so anyhow um, you know if that's something that happens to you uh, and you don't want that happening anymore just take your stuff and put it elsewhere you know take the toys away if somebody's gonna screw up your spot um, somebody's gonna screw up my spot um, well, guess what? You don't get to play there anymore because I'm just going to take this stuff away and, and put it elsewhere because I can find habitat for literally any snake that I want to find. Um, all I need is the cover objects to go go set out. You know, that's really the, the literally that's the biggest hurdle in finding any snake is going and setting out uh, the cover objects to find it. Um, so, uh, it, well, at least if you know kind of what habitat you're, you're looking in, right? Um, I, I guess a lot of people I don't know what they're doing with that but that's a that's a totally different story um, anyhow rant over on that I uh, hope you guys enjoyed seeing me set out some mud snake boards um, hope you guys enjoyed uh, you know a few of the flip clips that we got today um, but anyhow uh, I get to so on on Sunday I'm going up to well you don't know it's Sunday it doesn't really matter what day it is but here in a couple of days I'm gonna go up to uh, meet Armin and Brennan we're gonna do some North Louisiana stuff so we'll see how that goes um, hopefully more cane breaks more milk snakes and you know all the good stuff there um, but anyhow check in with you guys then hope you enjoyed the video uh, give it a like subscribe all that good stuff and I'll see you then That's fucking beautiful.